Hello, this is uh, hopefully a short video on how to load charts, uh, electronic charts into QTVLM. And um, so we will start by get it, downloading the charts. We'll go to NOAA and we'll download some charts and then uh, display them. So let me go here. And so here's one way we made this page a shortcut to get to some NOAA resources, starpath.com forward slash get charts. And then we want to download, and well, let's get ENC and RNC, and I'll do this in real time here. What's a test to see how long this takes. These are bigger. So let's go here. We're gonna download the entire state and, but let's take a small state with a waterfront, something like New Hampshire, New Hampshire, and then I'm RNC's by state, New Hampshire, and I'm gonna just take them all. Okay, that's good, and that's downloading there. So let me go then back. I think that's gonna keep doing that. Now we'll download ENC's by region, and the state, and New Hampshire, MN, MN, New Hampshire, oh, eight, that's an easy guy. New Hampshire, eight megabytes there. So that's that. So now I've got these two, they're in my download folder, and I could look at that folder, or I can just click here, and it will unzip it. That, I'm on a Mac. This behaves a little differently on a, on a PC. And, uh, but it's the same basic process. I just unzip that folder. And now this, these are the charts. Yeah, that's fine, back. And then I'm gonna just rename this. I'm gonna rename it um, uh, New Hampshire NH underscore RNC. Okay, so that's New Hampshire, the RNC charts for New Hampshire. Now let's get the ENCs. Here's ENC root. Let me click that open, and sure enough, there's those charts. And so let's rename this one, rename, and this is going to be New Hampshire underscore ENC. Okay. Now you don't you don't necessarily have to get the whole state, but you know it does. You know that doesn't take very long, and the new computers are fast and internet's fast. So you could download your entire state, your favorite state where you live. All right, so that's where these are. Now, in principle, it would be best to make a special folder for your charts. And uh, we recommend that. So I could go here and just go up here and say new folder and just call it charts. Right, so the, this is just, a, I, I really didn't have to do this now, but I think it's better to keep all your charts in the same place. So I'm gonna just move those two into, whoops, into here, okay? So now I've got all my charts, the, which are those two in this test case for now. And so I can just go to download slash charts. Hopefully there's not more than one of those. All right, so that's that. Now we're done here. I can go back to the program here. Now, the, and also be sure to get the latest version because the latest version has a real nice shortcut. See, normally you would have to go QTVM and then preferences. Now this would be a configure, this would be down at the bottom, it'd be configuration on a PC. But anyway, it'd be preferences. Then you would go to charts. Then you would go to uh, rasters and vectors. Then you'd go to folders like that. Okay, cancel. Now, but when you get this new version, you can just do, um, it would be uh, Command-Alt, uh, is that right? Command-Alt, and it just opens that page right there for you. And uh, the Command-Alt, or it would be um, uh, Control-Alt on a, a PC. And then you just go to Folders, and you see here, I have a lot of charts. I have a lot of charts sitting there that are defined. I mean, I'm gonna undo all of them. So in other words, once you load, identify some folders, or let me just do it now. Okay, so I'm gonna add, and then I'm gonna add, and we're gonna go to downloads. Hopefully I have a way to get to downloads easily. Downloads, and then let's see, charts. So then you go to chart, whoop, charts right there. Let me just double check that it's right, yes. So I'm gonna go back one because I'm just gonna do them both. Now you could do them individually, but um, 
it's good enough just to do that. Uh, say open. Okay, so you see here the check mark, and there's my uh, there's where I've assigned them. It's in users, Mac David downloads charts, and that's where my charts are. And there's a check mark. Now, if later I don't want to look at those, I want to look at these charts. You know, I could do that, and you know, turn this off, and that, and so forth. You turn them on and off that way. It, there's there's virtues in some cases to turn them all on. There's virtues to turn them all off. We come back to that. Right now, we're just loading some charts and looking at them. So they're there. Now, what you have to do is say OK. And then, then it's rebuilt them. Now, I would roll the screen up a little bit till I see an OK here and say OK as well. Now, so no, so the charts are loaded. but uh, And then you have to know where New Hampshire is. I don't know that offhand in this picture, but we'll find out. So, so we go up here to turn on the raster charts like that. And then here is the first raster chart of the area. And uh, so we're looking at that. So there's, that's that, that's the, and then we're looking at these, um, let's go back to our button, com, uh, command option V to these raster charts, and then let's look at this. You see, show canvas. That's like other people would call that uh, chart outlines. Uh, this is showing, you know, okay, it takes a little longer to show it, but this is showing the outlines of what charts exist. And that's what we're seeing, and that's what we're seeing here, these blue. The blue lines are where charts exist. The red lines are where charts exist that are totally covered up. Now, let's do something, and then, uh, uh, okay, so that's the way that works. Now, see, the, all those charts are there, and they're loaded. Now, the way QTVLM is going to decide which ones to show you, let me just, see, here's our scale down here. I have that turned on. And, uh, but I'm going to now move it, move the scale. I want to move it up, move the scale a little more prominent right here, say. So that's one to five million. So it must be that this chart out here, this guy, this big guy, is the one that has the closest scale to one to five million. And if I right click that and say chart information, that's one to uh, 1.2 million. One, yeah. That's 1 to 1.2 million, which is the closest. That's why this one shows. Then if I zoom on in, then eventually I'll get to uh, the next chart. And that's where it switched now. So now I'm looking at a scale. If I look at chart information, now I'm looking at this scale 1 to 20. Uh, 1 to, oh, what is that, 100? I should ask for commas here. Uh, yeah, 1 to 1.2 million. Yeah, make a note to ask for commas. Okay, and then, but that's the closest here. And as you zoom in, you will gradually, uh, as you zoom into the area, it will always present for you the details of the closest chart of the, uh, of that. Oh, now for this area, that must be all there is. Okay, so let me zoom out, uh, zoom out. So that's all there is for that area right there. Okay, so that's the, uh, and then you can click here, minus, 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 and like that. Uh, New Hampshire. Um, okay, so that's loading those charts. Delaware, New Jersey, uh, and so forth. New York, Massachusetts. Ah, here's New Hampshire up here. Here's where the action is. I was zooming in on a place where there was no action. So if you zoom in down here, you're going to get into these other charts. See, that's, that's my ignorance, just not knowing where New Hampshire was. So these are charts here. So if I zoom in here, I should get to that chart when I get to that scale. Oh, yeah. So there you go. As you zoom in, now you can just play with this, and you'll zoom in. And if you want to see details of just this one chart, then what you can do is, because you see, when I've got just one chart, I have a limit on what I'm seeing in the screen. There's a, there's a view there, because that's what I've asked for. But what you could do is uh, right click and say, show only this chart. Now that I'm showing only this chart, I can actually 
you know, see the extent of the, I, first of all, I get the borders, that's pretty nice. And then you can actually play with this just one chart only and zoom in and so forth. And that, so there's that, that chart. And now we're not looking at manipulations or anything else. And now, oh, notice the R went away because I'm not looking at all raster charts. I'm looking at just that one chart. If I click all rasters, then that will shut off that one chart and I'm back in the regular system. But we can shut these off and go into the vector charts. That's the that's ENCs. And they are displayed the same way, except then you've got various options on how you what you want to display here you know there it's a more complicated user decision on this page of what how you want to display the various enc objects you know this i can shut off the lights i can change from four color water to two color i can change the symbols i can even decide what symbols i want to see and not see and so forth but that's not the that's not the subject at hand for now but this is the uh, this is then the ENC charge. So they work and they will zoom in and change scale, same as this with the same rule as before. So that's how we are loading charts into uh, into the QTVLM, and that's the same essentially in the Mac and a and a PC. And you'll have to get the latest version. This is now what is today, August 17th. I think this new version with this with this uh, super nice function I just clicked just came in in the latest version today. Okay, I'll stop there.